Do you know your medicine? Weed Maps and SC Laboratories bring you an educational series on the science of clean and safe cannabis. In today's episode, Terpene Interplay. Okay, well, I'm Dr. Bonnie Goldstein, and I've been practicing in the specialty of medical cannabis for the past uh, three years. Uh, my name is Josh Werzer. I'm the laboratory director here at SC Labs. I've been testing cannabis now for almost three years. Uh, I'm Mike Corral. I'm the uh, co-founder and agricultural director of WAM, Women's Alliance for Medical Marijuana in Santa Cruz. Uh, I'm Michael Backus. I founded uh, Cornerstone Research Collective down in Los Angeles. It was one of the first evidence-based collectives in California. Well, another good example of, of you know, a, a strain that, that would seemingly have a somewhat innocuous effect based on your cannabinoid profile is, is the purple strains because you have, you know, strains that, several of the purple strains that, that cause extreme drowsiness. You know, there's no extra CBN in there or no, no, no cannabinoids where you contribute to the cannabinoid. And it has to be the interplay of the terpenes. If you look at a lot of purples, they're high in terpenoline, this one, terpene. And they're usually found in meds that have almost no uh, CBD at all. And what's wild is CBD is mild, mildly stimulating. And, and a lot more stimulating than they thought. And they used to recommend it for sleep. And then a lot of insomniacs came in and go, these CBD meds are really not working for me. <laughs> but terpenaline and THC together are great. And what's really wild is, it's not only found in a lot of purples, it's also found in the lemon phenotype of Jacare. And so what I've recommended to some patients now is check out the lemon phenotype of Jacare if you want to go to sleep. And people go, wait a second, that's a, that's a sativa, that won't work, until they try it and then it works. I think in some cases, we're gonna learn that it's the cannabinoids modulating the terpenoids. Cannabinoids seem to do this weird thing where they increase the ability of the brain to uptake these terpene molecules. And these terpene molecules pharmacologically are really, really strong. I'm curious about something. Have you, have you noticed uh, there's a couple of WAN members that when they can't smoke indicas because they break out in a rash? And if you give them a joint of indica and sativa, they can tell the difference right away with what they're smoking by this uh, allergic reaction. Okay, so the thing about it is, is a lot of the terpenes are known sensitizers. Like a lot of people are real sensitive to certain mm -hmm. terpenes and can't pass skin patch tests. Okay. When we get that online, and it's coming online. Every lab in the state right now is trying to bring terpene chemistry online mm -hmm. because it's the hot thing. It's really interesting and it explains everything we've been trying to figure out for years.